Father, we bless you. Teach us your word once again in the name of Jesus. Today, the Lord will teach us on a topic that says sex drive. Sex drive. Uh, we're going to take our text from Genesis chapter 29, verse uh, 21 to 23. In Genesis chapter 29, verse 21, after the seven years was completed, Jacob went to Laban and said, Give me my wife. You would think Laban will be will be the one to tell Jacob or be the one to remind Jacob of his wife. But he didn't. Laban waited for Jacob to ask before he gave him his wife. God sometimes deals with his children in this way. If you don't say it with your mouth, you may not hold it with your hands. That's why the Bible says that we should ask and it will be given unto us. Seek and ye shall find and that we should knock and it should, and it will be opened unto us. Jacob was funny but frank. Why did you think Jacob asked for his wife? Immediately his years was his, his years of service was completed. Why did you think he asked for his wife immediately his years of service was completed? I know in those seven years most of his nights will be spent dreaming about Rachel. But there is something to note here in Genesis chapter 29 verse 21 Jacob said to Laban Give me my wife, my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. What? Go in unto her? What of wedding and the proper introduction? All that didn't concern him. He couldn't wait any longer, so he wanted to satisfy his sexual urge. You know that's why many of us want to marry. Because... We actually want to we want to satisfy our sexual heart, so we can't wait any longer. We just marry any sister, and we end up in trouble. May our case not be like that. May your case not be like that. In the name of Jesus, At, I once heard Doctor uh, Doctor Lukoya of uh, Mountain of Fire Ministry saying something. He said, I think I, I heard him saying that in one of his messages. He talked about how he met a female abroad who came to him and said, "Sir, I'm a virgin." Please pray for me to get married. I need sex. You see, marriage is more than sex. Though there is sex in marriage, ask those who are married for more than 30 years. Then they will tell you that what is keeping them together to that point is beyond sex. Sex is a part of marriage, not all of it. So, Brother Jacob demanded his wife urgently because he needed sex badly. The first thing every youth that will make a mark with God must deal with is their sex appetite. Uh, because until that is dealt with, no opposite sex will be safe with you. Brothers rape sisters and likewise, the sisters also rape the brothers. It's not a new thing. Many brothers marry with their bed they fight because the sister demanded for sex before marriage and some sisters also defy themselves and break their promises with God because the brother demanded for sex. Since they will still end up marrying each other, they felt there is nothing wrong in it. Anyone who cannot control his sexual urge will be helpless under the influence of sex. I remembered when I was in primary school, a teacher sent a girl and I to do something for her. So I went and both of us were alone in that place and suddenly she began to make sex move. Immediately I noticed this, I quickly disappeared from that environment only to appear in my class. I have, I have several experiences like that but the Lord delivered me. You can have a sex drive but please control it. It is not a sin to feel like having sex. After all, that is what we call a sex drive. And every complete woman, every complete woman being have that. But how we manage that matters a lot. So in Genesis chapter 29 verse 22, Laban called the people together and he made a feast. That is what we call wedding today. People came together to eat. Please note that Jacob had already paid a bride price. Jacob had already paid a bride price. How do I know this? In those days, 
Bright price is not only limited to a bag of rice, 42 bars of yams, and other funny things that we, that we bring today. That seven years of work Jacob did for Laban was the bright price Jacob paid to have Rachel. It was service, and that is the best bright price anyone can ever give. Things will finish, but the impact of service will live on. After this feast, since Laban knew sex was Jacob's weak point, he decided to use it against him by bringing Leah instead of Rachel. In Genesis chapter 29 verse 23, immediately Laban brought Leah. Jacob thought she was Rachel. He didn't even bother to look at her face. The next thing was straight to the bed and you know what, what that means. If you must marry, if you must not marry wrongly, then you must work on your sex appetite. It was later that he knew he had been deceived by Laban. You are likely to fall into several deceptions if you can't work on your sex drive. Many people marry the person they don't love, but because of sudden pregnancy, they had no choice than to continue living as couples forever, even when that was not their initial plan. Work on your sexual drive or sex appetite now, or it will deal with you later in the future. Receive grace to overcome every and any sexual temptation the devil may want to bring across your way in Jesus' name.